Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to insert a link to a GIF in an email in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. So I'm logged into Google and I'm in Gmail. To add a GIF to an email, I'm going to start by opening a new email. I can do this by clicking on the Compose button in the top left of the inbox, and you'll see a blank email window is open. I'll quickly add a recipient and email title to this email, as you would normally do. To add a GIF from a website, I need to move my mouse pointer to the toolbar at the bottom of this email, and I'm going to click on the Insert Photo option. This opens up a new window that gives me some further options. If you've downloaded a GIF to your computer, you can insert it directly from your photos by choosing it from this section. However, to add a GIF from a website, we need to click into the option called Website Address URL in the top row of this window. When we click into that, we're asked to paste an image URL for the GIF. This is just a web location of the GIF you want to add. Let me show you how to find that now. I'm going to open a new tab window in Chrome, and from the Google homepage, I'm going to search for the website Giphy. From the results returned, I'll choose the top option, and Giphy.com opens. This is a website where you can upload and view GIFs. The link for this website is also shown in the description for this guide below. I want to wish a friend happy birthday in my email, so I'll search for a happy birthday GIF I think they might like. Let's choose this one. I'll click the GIF once to open it up. To find the web location link for this GIF, I now need to click on the share option to the right of the GIF. This opens up a number of alternative ways to share, but the one I'm interested in is copy GIF link. If I click that once, you'll see that Giphy confirms the link for the GIF has been copied to my clipboard. I'll now return to Gmail and my original email, and you'll remember that we were adding a photo using a web address. I'll click into the Paste an Image URL box, and if I then paste the web address of the GIF we copied into this space, you'll see that Gmail then displays the GIF. This is an important step, because if there are any problems with the GIF or its web location, you'll see an error message rather than the photo image when you paste it in. As everything looks okay with the web address we added, I just need to click on the large blue insert button to add that GIF to my email, and you'll see that the GIF displays as expected. This email can then be sent in a normal way. I hope you find this buckle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching.